Yeah, I've just finished the program and I'm going to um, put the circuit in and seal the box. thing in the Falcor and should power this on. Oh sorry, turn this on first. Power this on. Do it again. To reload. So this is how uh, the whole thing looks like. I'm gonna turn this on. Disable the safety by pressing this button. Now shoot it. Let's see what happens. I can adjust the laser lines here, change the focal point. There's also some other, there's also some other features um, I have to show you guys. So now, after the the unit is, has been powered on, the safety will be engaged. I have to disengage the safety. I'm going to press it off by the safety button. And there's also ammo cans, obviously, and this uh, P, uh, MPW is a, is a power motor, I have to compensate the power motor because I'm using linear <laughs> which is to directly the, the motor speed, which is not a very good way to do, but I have a very limited room in this thing, so, well, forgive me not putting a motor driver in. And, yes, BP means a blowback. This is a blowback. I don't want it now. I can... Do this so it doesn't make any sound. But I still got the laser out, and every time I shoot it, you can see there's a blue LED light up. So on the back, uh, when you view from the side, you can see. And how accurate this thing is, I'm not sure. I think it's pretty accurate, but I'm not sure can I show it in, on the cameras or not. If you look at the side, the laser actually is on the side. Oh, now it's empty. Even in the blowback uh, disable mode. Uh, this reload thing uh, still enabled. I can change the code if I want, but I think it's kind of cool, so I don't want to change it. So let's reload it. And another mode is simply the burner mode. The burner mode, simply just enable it. Sometimes just simply enable and burn. And. There's a power control, the power motor pulse width mode. If I want to change the pulse width, just keep pressing the mode button until I reach this screen. I can change the power mode. And if I change the motor uh, power, once I'm done, I can just click this button and show you guys again how it works. Uh, yes, now I'm in the setting mode. To set the power motor, I just keep pressing this one. If I keep pressing, increase the power. Let's do 290. Once I'm done, I click this button and this will slide. Because this is too powerful, the, mo uh, the pose width is too long. 
so you can see it's like two times. But why do I have to have this setting? Is because sometimes if I want our battery, I want to use some other batteries, and then I have to do this to calibrate it. So that's pretty much that's it. Once you've opened the pro uh, program, you have to select the webcam, click connect, you will see two windows, picture boxes. On the left hand side is the target format, on the right hand side is what you see on the webcam, which is the video feed. You can click cone frame, which is just copy what you see instantly from your webcam to the left hand side. As you can see, I try to do it twice. three times actually. You can save the result, you can save um, the result with the uh, laser dot on it, but for now I just save whatever I have on the left hand side which is nothing, just the picture itself. You'll see, uh, you see the result with laser dots later, actually not laser dots, but just circles drawing on it. You can also load two temp uh, templates, I'm trying to load two templates right now, as you can see. On the right hand side is XY coordinates of the laser dot history. On the bottom, you can s set the filter to compensate with your red, green, or blue laser. The about is just a revision of the program and my name, which is the other and that stuff. Uh, yes, and the print and quit history just simply delete or print the laser dot histories. Refresh, just go back to the default template. Hi, this is the whole setup. So, uh, this is the uh, user interface for the laser driver training kit. This is the user interface, uh, which in uh, Visual Studio C Sharp. And this is the video feed, and this is the actual template. I can upload or change any picture later on. I'll show you guys in the um, yeah, later. And this is actually the the target, as you can see video feed here. So simple as that. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys how it actually works with the GUI. Let me start a recording. So what I do in the GUI is after you start training. And for safety, I'm I'm disabling the bow back so Sleeping, so I want to put them up. So, this is what it looks like on the screen. As you can see, every time it detects a laser dot, there's a cross draw at the center of the laser dot, and the red filter just filter out everything and just capture the brightest point. On the screen, which is also a PS red. This is a simple image processing. When I click print, all the coordinates of all the dots are present on the screen. As you can, uh, you can press the save result, and then you can save the picture on the left hand side. Uh, yeah, you can see the picture is uh, three twenty times two forty pixels. Just give the pictures a white code. And the next. 
uh, this video is actually shows you guys we can actually use the um, Kong frame features so that you don't have to actually match the template with the uh, with whatever you put on the video feed like the paper I put on the wall this would capture all the dots yeah two dots on that Pikachu Let's see if I capture it maybe sometimes the dots are a little bit off I don't know um, I'm not sure are they, are they really a little bit off and yes again I'm going to save the picture and let's look at the picture again uh, this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different Oh, I missed one. I missed one shot. Ah! Alright, you can save the picture again. Print out the coordinates. And I took a little bit while to get the picture. Yep. So that's it. Thanks for watching.